What are you doing? Uh, just thinking. Think about this. What do you mean? There's like so much water outside. It's like raining. That's what you think. Let me explain. Think of the earth. Now, think about all the places that have water. That's a lot of water. But how much of that water can we actually access and drink? Let's find out. Let's pretend I took all the Earth's water and dumped it into this graduated cylinder. This represents all of our Earth's water. But why do you think that we couldn't drink a lot of that water? If you thought salt water, you're correct. 97% of our Earth is made of salt water just from our oceans and seas. So now we're going to take some of that water that started in our graduated cylinder and pour out about 3%. So then that leaves us with that 97%, that's our salt water, so we'll put that to the side. So this is our 3% fresh water that we have, but a lot of this fresh water we still can't access. That's because it's trapped in some form, I'll give you a clue, it's very cold. Of that 3% fresh water, 70% of that is frozen in ice caps. So if this represents all of our fresh water, I have to get rid of some of that. And so now that leaves that 70%, that's our ice caps. So now what's left after we take that water out of the ice caps is this liquid fresh water. But a lot of this liquid fresh water we still can't access because it's trapped. Underground. This is the water that seeps into our ground and eventually goes into our aquifers, which is essentially a giant underground lake. So some of that water is trapped underground so we can't access it, and that leaves the rest of that water as our surface water. So this is going to be our lakes, our streams, our rivers, even puddles. So even out of the surface water, we still can't drink a lot of it because it's polluted. So of this surface water, a lot of it is polluted. So how much of that surface water can we actually access and drink that's not polluted? This is how much we can drink. This is 0.003% of the Earth's water. So we started with this 97% salty Earth, and of that 97%, 3% of that is fresh water, and of that 3% fresh water, 0.003% of it is the accessible drinking water that we have. So that's why we need to worry about conserving water.